right now we are about 30 feet below the surface of the earth in River Bluff Cave, which is the oldest fossil cave site in North America um, uh, currently. And uh, it's, it, the fossils in here are about 1.1 million years old, and we've got stuff that is probably going to be a little bit older uh, once the dates come back. The cave was discovered September 11, 2001. Um, and you know, like everyone else, I was at home watching television, um, you know, kind of just glued to the events, the world changing in front of me. I didn't realize that the world was going to change below me. Uh, you know, in a few minutes, I get a phone call. Uh, hey, Matt, a new cave just opened up, and you're going to want to come out, and take a look at it. I pull up in this parking lot, this gravel parking lot just south of here, and I notice that cold air on my ankles when I get out of my truck. And oh man, you know, this is, this is interesting because this must mean it's a big cave. There's a lot of air blowing out of this thing. And so I can't wait to get up to the edge. So I, I grab some real quick, you know, some boots on, that kind of stuff, and I run up to the, the edge of the crater. At that time, it was this big heap of rock uh, kind of forming a, a half moon shape with the other half of that crater in the rock here in the cave. And I get to the top, and I can see the columns that you're seeing behind me you know, lit up with the sun, which they've never seen the sun before. Um, and man, you know, that, that first thought that goes to your head is, they're going to want me to go in there. <laughs> you know, I get to explore this. This is terrifyingly wonderful, <laughs> you know, all at the same time. Pressing past this point, no one had been. Um, and so we were the first two people sort of the, you know, Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin of River Bluff Cave. Um, and that was special because, you know, a mud floor and you look out in front of you and there are no human footprints. I've been in a lot of new caves, so stepping somewhere that a human has never stepped isn't new to me, but it sure was then. Uh, it was uh, because you look to your left and right and you could see trackways of prehistoric animals in the mud too. And so you had to work your way uh, you know, around those. We didn't want to destroy anything that first day. Um, you know, we saw a lot that first day. We saw claw marks in the walls. We saw trackways of bears and, and you know, bones stick on the, out of the walls and on the ground. <clears throat> it was uh, an overload. I mean, even think about it right now, it's sensory overload. It's that feeling you get. It's the same feeling I got the first day in here. Two things really got me. It's that feeling of, you know, when you're in a site when you're in a place with a deep, rich, prehistoric history. Um, if you don't stand in front of that in awe, there's something wrong with you, I think. You're standing in a cave that the oldest date we have right now is 1.1 million years ago. And some of the lower sediment we have found uh, will probably date to 1.2 million. As I said before, you know, time, there's no clock on the wall. I mean, it's just, this cave is just sitting here collecting data with no interest in time, just collecting. And so you have millions of fossils in here, everything from fossilized earthworms to mammoths, you know, preserved in this cave. We have volcanic ash from the last Yellowstone eruption 640,000 years ago, the Lava Creek eruption. That's here, you know. The mammoths that are in the cave are here because that ash during the event pushed them in here. This is the only way they could get fresh air. And they died, their, their lungs were cut up with the ash. Uh, they succumbed to that, that uh, uh, ingestion of ash. That's all in here. We see bear beds, you know, right behind you guys, a few feet are bear beds. The giant short-faced bear, the females raised their young in here. You see the big beds where the mom was, you see the satellite beds where the, where the young were. You have life, you have death, you've got birth, you have everything. Everything happening in North America is being preserved in this cave over time. Um, and it's still doing that. It hasn't stopped just because we're studying it. Uh, it's still, still doing it. And, and that's what makes this cave so important. But a lot of caves, not all, but most caves, 
are just as important as far as record keepers. And so, yeah, I mean, you've got half a million years of time preserved in this cave. Uh, imagine a, uh, you know, a cathedral or some architecture that's half a million years old. You know, any visitor would be in awe of it, as they should, yeah.